Hi, in this project I'm going to turn my Raspberry Pi into a MIDI player. Uh, MIDI is a music uh, instrument digital interface. Hope I got that correct. Um, it's kind of an old technology, maybe very popular in the 80s for um, computer controlling various synthesizers and other musical instruments that can be computer controlled. It's kind of like the old style MIDI that I'm going to do, which uses the, uh, the DIN plugs. It's kind of a five pin DIN plug, only uh, two to three wires are actually used in this, uh, depending on your implementation. Uh, but let's just look at how the interface works. It's very simple, uh, unidirectional interface. You would typically have your computer on one side and your instrument on the other. Uh, the computer has a UART, that's Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. Uh, the instrument would probably have a UART in it as well. Uh, those convert uh, you know, typically 8-bit digital into serial. That's how you have a serial port. Uh, but this can be used by MIDI. Um, so over here, um, on the computer side, uh, one part of the signal is 5 volts through a 220 ohm resistor. The other half of the signal is the transmit pit of the UART. Uh, that goes through a cable. That'll be your 5-pin uh, DIN plug. Um, and on this side, we have the instrument. We have an opto-isolator another 220 ohm resistor, and a UART, which will probably have a receive pin. So this unidirectional interface, we send bits out on this, goes through the opto-isolator, this isolates the instrument from the computer, and into the uh, UART in the instrument, where it tells it to play the music. If you wanted to do this in the opposite direction, you would construct the exact same schematic, you'd just reverse it, so the instrument would have a transmit pin, um, it'd go through 220 ohm resistor, you'd have the UART on this side, and it would output to the receive pin on the computer's UART. And you'll typically find that uh, MIDI devices have both a MIDI in and a MIDI out port. So here's the schematic I came up with. This is very similar to another schematic I found on the web, um, this uh, Pi MIDI Instructable. I actually came up with mine independently, but if you look at it, they're pretty much basically the same. So let's take a look at how this works. Um, first of all, this is power supply optional. Um, I often put a 12 volt to 5 volt switching power supply in my project so I can power them from uh, 12 volts. Um, you can ignore the power supply if you want. Uh, so over here we have the Raspberry Pi. Um, there's a transmit and a receive pin on the Pi. Um, those are also GPIO pins, but so we'll just use that um, as our UART. Now the Raspberry Pi being a 3.3 volt device, we can't send that directly out. So we'll use um, some hex inverters. Um, Schmidt trigger hex inverters make a great way to do a level shifter. Um, you want to put two of them together. So here you see uh, two uh, parts of a 7414 hooked together from the MIDI transmit pin out the 220 ohm resistor um, to the DIN plug and then we've also got um, 5 volts uh, to the DIN plug. There's a ground hooked up um, on the DIN plug so that is the transmit part of the schematic. Up here is the receive part of the schematic where we have the signal comes in uh, from the uh, five pin DIN, um, hooks up to the optocoupler, there's also this uh, diode here, got your 220 ohm resistor. Um, originally I tried to use a 6N136 because that's what the uh, hard MPU that I assembled uh, used, but it didn't work in this, I think because of the voltage level, so I ended up having to buy some 6N138 opto isolators, those ones work perfectly. So out of the 6N138, um, you know, it's got a source voltage pin of 3.3 volt, there's a pull up, there's some pull down and a ground. But anyway, we come out of that and we've got our MIDI receive, goes to the UART. Um, you can also uh, have a MIDI through port, and what the MIDI through port does is it just takes the in and hooks it to the out. Uh, people typically use that daisy chain multiple instruments together. Uh, so I did that. Same way we just took the uh, RX pin, ran it through our hex inverters, 
and sent it out another uh, din jack. And then finally, I had uh, two gates left in the hex inverters, so I figured why not use those to drive some LEDs. So I put some LEDs on the board with some dropping resistors, hex inverters, hooked them to the transmit and receive, and that way an LED will blink every time there is data on the line. Also a couple of bypass capacitors here, a um, couple of jumpers in case you wanted to get 5 volt on or off the board. Okay, so let's take a look at the board that I built. So here is the completed uh, MIDI uh, shield. So it's got three connectors. There's a MIDI out, an in, and a through. You can see the silk screen on the bottom. It says uh, out, in, and through. Looking at the top, we can see the uh, the inverter chip is there, hex inverter, um, the 6N138 optocoupler, the diode, uh, lots of 220 ohm resistors scattered around. Uh, switch mode power supply on this side is completely optional. Uh, the two LEDs, I actually made a mistake in my initial design and had these LEDs so that they were on uh, by default and then they flickered off as there was traffic. Um, that was really annoying because they, you can barely see the, uh, the off pulses. So I kind of rewired them, I flipped them around, I cut the uh, trace that hooked to them and I had to hook up a jumper wire. So that's why you see this little uh, hack in there. Uh, next board revision, I'll do the uh, LEDs the right way. Um, the header I used is your standard uh, Raspberry Pi stacking header, kind of the extra tall uh, version. That way you can plug it in and still hook things up to your GPIO pins. Um, not much else to show about the MIDI shield, but let's uh, hook it up to our Raspberry Pi. So here you can see the Raspberry Pi. I used some uh, standoffs. Um, down here I have the male to female standoff, a little short one that uh, goes through the board. Then this female to female is on top. Did four of those. Um, on, the sh on the shield you can see that uh, I put some thick electrical tape so that these parts don't short out against those. Um, so it's just a matter of taking and plugging it uh, together. Standoffs are a little bit too short, so I can almost squeeze my fingernail in there. Um, a little washer would help. But anyway, but anyway, there's these two uh, boards assembled together. Then I'm going to take my VFD shield. See that? And we're just going to. Uh, well, first we need. So this it wasn't quite long enough. I mean, this very very tall to do that uh, stacking header. So what I do. Take another stacking header, plug it in like so. Now we've got a lot of space between the boards and we can take and plug VFD shield into the top. Line up these two screws. Screw them into the standoff. Put these hex nuts about where I want them. So this makes the whole assembly good and solid. You know, you can see these uh, screws hold this board up. Um, Easy to push the hex encoder, doesn't really move around much. Just push the buttons. Um, that's it. This view of the back, you can see all of the uh, headers going between them. Side, there's our MIDI jacks. Okay, let's try out the prototype. I've assembled it here, so we've got the Raspberry Pi 3 on the bottom, uh, the MIDI shield in the middle, and the VFD shield on the top. Plug the MIDI cable into my uh, Roland SC55. Kind of sitting over here to the side. Um, power ready to be plugged in. Okay, so first let's turn the uh, speakers on. Speakers are on. Let's turn the Roland SC55 on. 
Okay, the Roland is on. Um, now let's power up the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I set it um, with cron tab to automatically start the player. It's playing, you can see the uh, potentiometer lit up green. Let's turn up the volume. So it's just playing the first song. So I can skip forward in songs. There's one that sounds decent. If I push this, I can switch to uh, folder mode. Let's go over to the C folder. Push this, goes back. Um, let's look for something I know sounds good. How about that one? Okay, so I built this into a case. Um, I think it'd be more convenient this way. For one thing, the front panel now visible out the front. Um, I used just some oak scrap wood to make the case. Raspberry Pi is mounted in there. MIDI jacks on the back, exposed for the SD card and the USB port. Um, I do have 130,000 song library on this USB uh, drive. I can plug in there. Let's uh, turn this on, hook up the MIDI out jack, hook up power, the volume should boot up, there, turn the volume up. So it started playing the uh, first song on the zero folder. Use our encoder to change songs. folder. Let's try skipping forward a bit. Thank you for watching my video. Please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sand rail stuff. Bye.